Find all real numbers b, such that, the equation has four distinct real roots. We notice that, the left hand side of the equation, is the sum of two squares. We know that, m plus n all squared, equals m squared, plus 2 mn, plus n squared. That is to say, if we add 2 mn, to m squared, plus n squared, then we can complete the square. So we add 2 times x over x minus 1, times x over x plus 1, and minus 2 times x over x minus 1, times x over x plus 1 on the left hand side of the equation. x over x minus 1, times x over x plus 1, is equal to, x squared, over x squared minus 1. So we can now write, x over x minus 1 all squared, plus x over x plus 1 all squared, plus 2 times x squared, over x squared minus 1, minus 2 times x squared, over x squared minus 1, equals b. The first three terms on the left hand side of the equation, is equal to, x over x minus 1, plus x over x plus 1 all squared. x over x minus 1, plus x over x plus 1, is equal to, 2x squared, over x squared minus 1. So the equation becomes, 2x squared, over x squared minus 1 all squared, minus 2x squared, over x squared minus 1, equals b. We label this as equation 1. Clearly, it is a quadratic equation, in 2x squared, over x squared minus 1. Now we let y equal 2x squared, over x squared minus 1. Then equation 1 becomes, y squared, minus y, equals b. We label this as equation 2. Now add a quarter to both sides of equation 2. Then the left hand side of the equation, is equal to, y minus a half all squared. So y equals a half, plus or minus, root of, b plus a quarter. That the original equation has four distinct real roots, means that, equation 2 must have two distinct real roots in y. So b must be greater than negative a quarter. We know that, y equal 2x squared, over x squared minus 1, and y equals a half, plus or minus root of, b plus a quarter. So we have two quadratic equations. 2x squared, over x squared minus 1, equals a half, plus root of, b plus a quarter. We label this as equation 3. And 2x squared, over x squared minus 1, equals a half, minus root of, b plus a quarter. We label this as equation 4. Multiply equation 3 by 2, we have, 4x squared, over x squared minus 1, equals 1 plus root of, 4b plus 1. Multiply the equation by x squared minus 1, and then rearrange the equation, we have, root of, 4b plus 1, minus 3, times x squared, equals root of, 4b plus 1, plus 1. For equation 3 having two distinct real roots, x squared cannot equal 0, that is, it must be greater than 0. And the right hand side of the equation is greater than 0. So root of, 4b plus 1, minus 3, must be greater than 0. That is, root of, 4b plus 1, must be greater than 3. Which implies that, b is greater than 2. Similarly, multiply equation 4 by 2, we have, 4x squared, over x squared minus 1, equals 1 minus root of, 4b plus 1. Multiply the equation by x squared minus 1, and then rearrange the equation, we have, root of, 4b plus 1, plus 3, times x squared, equals root of, 4b plus 1, minus 1. For equation 4 having two distinct real roots, x squared cannot equal 0, that is, it must be greater than 0. And root of, 4b plus 1, plus 3, is greater than 0. So root of, 4b plus 1, minus 1, must be greater than 0. That is, root of, 4b plus 1, must be greater than 1. Which implies that, b is greater than 0. Now we have derived that, for the original equation having four distinct real roots, b is greater than negative a quarter, b is greater than 2, and b is greater than 0. So overall, 
b must be greater than 2. Now we verify, whether the original equation has four distinct real roots. We know that, when b is greater than 2, each of these two equations, has two distinct real roots. But whether they all are distinct or not, we don't know. For the first equation, x squared equals root of, 4b plus 1, plus 1, over root of, 4b plus 1, minus 3. For the second equation, x squared equals root of, 4b plus 1, minus 1, over root of, 4b plus 1, plus 3. Clearly, we can see that, when b does not equal 0, root of, 4b plus 1, plus 1, over root of, 4b plus 1, minus 3, does not equal, root of, 4b plus 1, minus 1, over root of, 4b plus 1, plus 3. Hence, the two equations have four distinct real roots. That is, when b is greater than 2, the original equation has four distinct real roots.